Well, I didn't even notice. I just, I was just surfing. I'll see what can I find. Here we go. This is good. Man convicted of killing TriMet bus driver in 2021 gets life sentence. You know, this is what I was talking about before. You know, people like you know, Lane Jensen was a, bu- a blogger of TriMet. He was asked the question of Roberta Alstein way back then. He said, "What will it take for the for the safety to change for a uh, TriMet bus driver? One, ten, hundred thousand, the uh, the life of a TriMet bus driver." And Roberta Alstein back then. Where Neil McFarlane had Lane Jensen arrested, and Lane Jensen's bail was like six thousand dollars, and a guy who spit on a TriMet bus driver back then only who had thousand dollars. Yeah, just like Son of Hot Tower, his bail was two hundred fifty thousand dollars for a stalking order up a cheap Daniel outlaw years ago, and a guy who beat the crap out of a TriMet bus driver and only get like fifty thousand. Here we go. Three years since a North Portland woman was gunned down in the front yard of her home, and the man responsible for killing her will now spend the rest of his life in prison. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy was there for the sentencing and is live downtown to tell us more about the emotional day in court. Well, Riel, Brianna White was remembered today as a sister, a daughter, as well as a mother of two children. Now, she was also remembered as a dedicated bus driver for TriMet, and family members said that they, she made such a big impact on the community as well as TriMet that the organization did comment on her death back in May of 2021, expressing their sadness. Now, it was a packed courtroom today with family members of both Brianna White and Henry Brogdon in the gallery. Brogdon. Yeah, I wonder what Roberta Alstad, you know, McFarlane, what here Neil going to say about this now, huh? Was surrounded by court bailiffs throughout the proceedings. He pleaded guilty last month to second degree murder for killing White in May of 2021. He was arrested in Texas weeks after White was found shot to death at a North Portland home and charged with her murder. Since this is also considered a domestic violence case under state law, he automatically gets life in prison with the possibility of parole after 25 years. Brogdon's family members didn't want to be on camera during their testimony, but three of the, his family members told the court that they didn't believe uh, he used to be somebody was treated had to, fairly he used to and believe he's still back innocent. Then, you know, Al McGillan, the Portland Transport, and what it's you know, been the like Rens have for a her family's death as well as raising the kids that she left behind. Both White's cousin and sister say it will be difficult to forgive Brogdon for what he did. They say he took away someone loved by a supportive family and a supportive community. Now, Brogdon had the opportunity to make a statement to the court today, but he chose not to, sitting in silence for most of the proceeding. And again, Brogdon will spend the rest of his life in prison with the possibility of parole after 25 years. But for now, reporting live in downtown Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox Oregon.